Hello everyone, let's talk about the biggest and the most ambitious mod in Dark Souls games. Dark Souls Archons is a mod on a big steroids that was in development for 2 years. I will be honest with you, I was very excited when I saw this mod for the first time. I was following this project since Haste Tower of Flame release and I checked nearly every day their coffee group in order to see something new and when I saw the announcement of this demo, I was very happy about it. And what can I say about it after finishing this mod fully? <laughs> Fucking disappointment. Ok, let's start with the best and most positive thing about this mod, visual. I don't know who were the people who designed this mod, but what an amazing and talented people. My jaw nearly dropped when I saw Cathedral and Cartools, what an amazing location design wise. Every single, yes, every single new NPC, new mob, boss, weapon or armor in this game looks fantastic, just bravo, every single person who designed this game is extremely talented person who deserves recognition. Voice actors are also very good. And what what but I didn't expect that Dark Souls Wikipedia to be one of bosses voice actors. When it comes to visual, this game is just amazing and there is no two opinion about that. But I have a few questions towards people who made the bosses moves and balanced this game's well, mods demo, ok? And yes, I am fully aware that this is just a mod and that is just a demo but that changes nothing. First of all, let's talk about the bosses. Yes, I know my expectations, my problems, but still, when I saw this video and especially when I saw Angelic Golem, I was so excited for bosses in this mod. This dude has such an interesting bosses combinations. If I got it correctly, this boss is a combination of either 4 or 5 boss different movesets, which was very impressive and when I fought him, I really enjoyed him. But there is a small problem about that, this is the only, well, Ok, to be fair, the most interesting boss will interesting boss moves combinations. I don't understand why nearly all bosses movesets are here is phase 1 of this boss and there is a phase 2 of this boss. For example this dude, his phase 1 is fully Godfrey's moveset, while his phase 2 is just a living dildo from Elden Ring. This boss is fully Lawrence, this boss phase 1 is fully skinny Godskin, while his phase 2 is fully one reborn. This dude is a crucible knight but will Lorian teleport. Port. This boss phase 1 is fully Radagon while his phase 2 besides one move is fully Artorias moveset. Yes there are a few bosses will interesting combinations such as Phoenix or this bastard. Even though their balance sucks do do, they have a very interesting moveset combinations from different bosses. Yes I know that my expectations are my problems and that this is just a mod, but they are already copying movesets of bosses. Why don't use the imagination a bit? For example, instead of adding another crucible knight, added to get through this angel a few purser or mirror knight builds, give saint Klimt a few mocks and moves, or give him a few bloody magic spells from elden ring, give janara a few ishin's halberd moveset, give beast a few manus and amelia's moves, instead of making him a hundred percent lawrence, give omen a few orny and nameless king's moves, or give him a few moves from any spear or halberd type enemy from dark souls and elden ring, and many more, just use imagination a bit, but nope. Just phase 1 of this boss and phase 2 of this boss. And also, I want to mention the fact that there are at least 4 bosses with Soul of Cinder's moveset. Yes, I know that Cinder has the biggest amount of different moves, but come on. There are more bosses than Cinder or Crucible Knight. Like, why don't give a Necromancer a few Nito's moves? Or give Silver Knight Captain, you know, a few Silver Knight moves. But okay, fuck it. This is a mod and they didn't have to make a bosses perfect. Now let's talk about the balance in this game. I don't know who were people who balanced this game, but I have a feeling that this game was balanced by Riot Games. Holy shit, when I played this mod, sometimes I refused to believe that a normal human being tested these locations and said, yes this is fine. First of all, in early game, Carthus, Alien Lois and especially Hade are just closed locations. Yes, you can visit them, but if you do that, you will quickly get fingered in this location. 
locations. Originally, I thought at least mod will be just like Demon Souls. Visit any location you want, kill one boss, and after that, visit another location. But that's not true at all. Like, let's talk about, for example, War Tornado Village. Who is the very first boss you can encounter? Either Angel or Mustache Man. Both of these bosses are a nightmare for early game character. In early game, if you don't have a weapon at plus 3 and fire resin, forget that you can beat this dude. Now about Angels. Yes, he's normally balanced for early game, but the problem is that in his phase 2, he will summon another Angel and fighting Crucible Knight duo as an early game character is just nuts. The only redeemable thing is that if you hit both of them at the same time, you can easily kill them. But let's be honest, it's easier to say than done. The amount of mobs in Carthus is just nuts and in order to go further, you have to kill these drunk bastards. And also you have to try run away from Carthus warriors, Tyrogirds, Abyss Watchers followers, Scorpions and this bug, which is not easy at all. Elium Lois is just closed for you because you have to beat this lady in order to go further. And even for level 40 character, this is not the easiest boss, mainly because you do a joke amount of damage and because she has a real max moveset, including her dump hitboxes, plus Chem Gunner's phase 2. Cathedral is ok when it comes to basic most placement logic and balance, but the boss runs and the layer health and damage is just yeah. <laughs> and let's look about the hate tower of flame. I refuse to believe that at least one person tested this location. Even for a mid game character, this location is just nuts. There are just way too many mobs who are extremely tanky, do a lot of damage and you can't just run away from them, because at one second on a narrow bridge, you have to run away from two heads knight and in land, you will be chased by phoenix, three ninjas and two old iron knights and plus one head knight, which is just nuts. The situation with weapon update is no better. When I saw miners in Carthus, I thought that in this location, I will get small and large titan shards, but nope. In order to get your weapons at plus 6, you have to beat this lady with weapon on plus 3, who even for mid game character is pretty hard, then kill silver knight captain and only after that you'll get a few large titan shards. I won't even mention bosses like necromancer and phoenix, which are just nuts even for late mid game character. Also why rings in this mode are so shitty, like the most useful rings that I found were howl's ring and dexterity ring. Also this mode has a very few questions hitboxes and sometimes it's very buggy. The best examples of questionable hitboxes are this lady and phoenix. Sometimes I had a feeling that they hit me no matter what I will do. Now about this text. Even though many locations are from Dark Souls, many NPC talk about events of Dark Souls or that a few NPC are related to other NPC and bosses, forget this line. Even though this game tries to be a prequel of Dark Souls 3, forget that this game lore wise is somehow connected to Dark Souls universe. Look at this mod story as a fanfic level video, because this game shit on Dark Souls universe lore and story very hard. It's not even funny how hard it shits on Dark Souls universe. Ok, that's our conclusion. I know that it's just a demo and they might fix a lot of problems, but overall if you don't count visual, I am very disappointed in this mod. My expectations were way too high and they were crushed by reality. And yes, I know, my expectations, my problems, but still, well this is just a demo and they might improve this mod when they will release a full mod one day. But as it is right now, convergence is far better than correct Archthrones. Write what you think about this mod or what are your thoughts about my video. With this I'll say bye bye to you and I'll see you next time.